Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all the Akim and all the elect out there pushing this truth and peace and sincerity, man. Waking brothers up, man. Um, man, the spirit just was on me, man. I just want to make a um a quick video, man, and bring out some scriptures real quick. Just try to edify some brothers, but I want to get into the curses of uh of uh the the um, children of Israel, man. Because uh, everything that we're going through are curses because we went off, we went off from from uh, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Uh So I'm gonna start with Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse one. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, to observe and to do all His commandments. Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. So basically, you know, all we had to do was follow all the laws, statutes, and commandments that the Most High commanded us, and He would have blessed us with with the promise that He gave, that He promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I mean, we still we still are going to get that with the elect are, but that's the reason why we're going through these curses now because we went off, and if we wouldn't have went off then, you know, we, we wouldn't be in this low state that we're in. And, uh, you know, the, the uh, children of Israel are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. I'm going to uh, continue reading. This is verse 2. And all these blessings shall come upon, shall come on thee and overtake thee, and thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. See, there you go again. If we were to hearken unto the law, statutes, and commandments, then all the blessings would have we would have been blessed with all the blessing that he promised us. Verse 3. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shalt, blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be the, thy basket and thy store. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face they shall come out against thee one way and flee before these seven ways so if we would have kept following the law, statutes and commandments all our enemies would have been smitten which means killed before 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 our faces, man, they would have been killed, man, because we are the apple of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai's eye. So we are that that uh, peculiar nation that elected that group that he that he chose to be his people, because the Most High, who y'all ignorantly, ignorantly know is God in Jesus Christ, he he uh, he's not worried about all the other nations. He's only worried about the children of Israel which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. The rest of the nation, they're really just here just to be our slaves, man. But right now, they're over us because we started going off, man, and we didn't hearken into the laws, statutes, and commandments. And I'm going to get into that, man. Your brothers, just bear with me. Um, and shall feed before these seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon, this is uh, verse 8, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 8. And it reads, The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses. And in all that thou settest thine hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto him, unto himself. See, he when he says he established a, um, established a holy people unto him, that's the, that's the children of Israel. He has his own people. He chose us to be his people. That's showing possession, and that's showing division right there. That's letting you know that the Lord is not coming. When he comes back, he's not coming back for everybody. He's coming back for Israel. Well, he's coming back for the elect of Israel. That's what the elect men, the 144,000 men. He's coming back for them. But ultimately, in the kingdom, all of Israel is going to be saved. It's just they're going to have to come back on the other side, man. Like, they're going to have to come back. When the elect men, you know, pop the, the concubines and all that, then the two-thirds of our nation, they're going to come back as their children, you know, as 
hopefully I'll be a part of the elect and then the rest of the brothers who's in this truth, you know, they're going to come back through our children, you know. And all the people and all people of the earth shall see that thou art called Shalaki. Let me continue reading this. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thy in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee a holy people unto himself, which is the Israelites, as he hath sworn unto thee the promise he made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Um, and he hath sworn unto as he hath sworn unto thee. If thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and walk in his ways, and all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and they shall be afraid of thee, and the Lord shall make thee plenteous and goods in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swore swear unto thy fathers to give thee. The fathers being Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because he made that covenant, he made that promise to them that we that we will inherit the kingdom. So that means you so called white people, you uh you uh Chinese, you uh Japanese, uh, Hawaiian, you Arabs, you know, if you're not a part of the twelve tribes of Israel, that means you're not going to inherit the kingdom. You are going to be our slaves, man. Thus saith the Lord of the Bible. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasures, the heaven to give the rain unto thy, into thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thy hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. So basically, in a nutshell, if we would, if we would,